I got Tank. I got Tank winning that fight. He just got to be on on defense uh, in the earlier rounds. The upcoming fight between Gervonta Tank Davis and Lamont Roach on December 14th at the Toyota Center in Houston has brought around a different kind of excitement for some and disappointment for some. Social media has been full of trash talk, drawing in fans, fighters, and even trainers into the conversation. You see, and Baltimore guys don't it's like pretty, each other. Yeah, be, yeah, you know what I mean? Sure. So, yeah. uh, it was a DC guy that I got in tour with. Okay. You know what I mean? So one of the, one of the older guys named Dana, he like, he like, basically like told me chill out, like. Nah. Right. DC and Baltimore don't fuck with each other. Yeah, they like don't. That. One thing about it, the city going, the city going. Show. Both Tank and Roach have exchanged some fiery words, but it was Frank Martin's message to Roach that caught everyone's attention. Martin, a top contender himself, warned Roach against taking on Gervonta Davis, believing that Roach doesn't have what it takes to defeat the undefeated champion. Frank Martin's warning was clear, I don't think he has what it takes to put Tank down, but everyone is always confident of themselves before you actually get in the ring with him. It will just be another loss for Roach. This message was part of the heated social media exchanges between Davis and Roach, and it has only added to the tension as the fight approaches. Gervonta Davis has long been a dominant figure in the lightweight division. His power, speed, and ability to deliver brutal knockouts have earned him the reputation of being one of the most dangerous fighters in boxing today. ESPN even ranks him as the no eight pound for pound boxer in the world, a testament to his skill and dominance in the sport. Davis has the ability to handpick opponents due to his standing with the WBA, which has granted him the privilege to defend his lightweight title against fighters from the super featherweight division. Many fans see this as a way for Davis to avoid tougher competition in his own division, allowing him to maintain his undefeated record while facing what they perceive as lesser opponents. Million dollars worth of game, where in your mind did you say, I'm going to fuck Tank up? <laughs> he in a spot that I want, you know what I mean? You going to finish like, Yeah, he going to find out. The Spartan, look, this he is the He didn't touch me up. You were scared to get in the ring. Where your man's at? Lamont Roach, moving up in weight for this fight, is seen by some as another example of Davis picking a weaker opponent to secure an easy win. However, Tank's track record speaks for itself. His last fight against Frank Martin in June showcased his incredible speed and knockout power. In that fight, Davis overwhelmed Martin in the middle rounds before finishing him with a crushing knockout, solidifying his status as one of the most feared fighters in the sport. It's no wonder that Frank Martin himself, having felt the force of Davis firsthand, would warn Roach not to take the fight lightly. Do you feel like Tank has been receiving unfair criticism because of uh, Lamont not being as known as a, of, of a fighter as his past opponent? Yeah, but it's not Tank fought. You know, the guys with the so-called names, they turn Tank down, they price themselves out. And um, because people don't know Lamont, he's not as popular, they think he can't fight, but Lamont can fight. And he got a hell of a pedigree, you know, seven time national champion, and he's tough. Lamont Roach enters this fight with a record of January 1st, 25 and 10 knockouts. And he's been on an impressive six fight winning streak since his only career loss to Jamel Herring in 2019. Roach's most notable victory came in November last year when he defeated Hector Garcia by split decision to claim a world title. While Roach is not a household name like Davis, his recent success in the ring shows that he's not someone to be underestimated. Roach's confidence has been evident in the lead up to the fight, particularly in his social media exchanges with Davis. I say, that's my guy, left-hander, dynamite, power, explosive, you know what I'm saying? Good for boxing ability. He's in training camp right now, he's putting that work in and you know, I mean, I... I On X, Roach made it clear that he doesn't see himself as just another opponent for Davis. You must think I'm one of them regular niggas you fought or some. LOL, cut it out, Measy. Roach fired back at Davis. He believes that he's different from the typical fighters that Davis has faced, and he's ready to prove it in the ring. But Davis, ever confident, was quick to respond, advising Roach to be careful with his words. I advise you not to talk so much. It can be bad for you. You know that already, though, yo, Davis warned. The exchange was classic. Davis, confident, calm, and ready to back up his words in the ring.
Despite Roach's winning streak and his belief that he can give Davis a tough fight, many analysts and fans remain skeptical. While Roach has shown improvement in his recent fights, it's difficult for most to see how he can pose a serious threat to someone as powerful and skilled as Gervonta Davis. But boxing is a sport full of surprises, and Roach is determined to be the underdog who shocks the world. Frank Martin's warning to Roach carries weight not just because Martin is a respected fighter, but because he has first-hand experience facing Davis. Martin was once a rising star touted as a potential future champion, but his fight against Davis changed everything. Martin was thoroughly outclassed by Davis, who used his speed and power to overwhelm him before delivering a knockout that left no doubt about who the superior fighter was. However, in the middle of all this, Lamont Roach has made it clear that he's not intimidated by the challenge of facing Tank, despite Davis's dominant record and fearsome reputation. In fact, Roach is going into this fight with some good amount of confidence. His message is simple, I'm not Frank Martin. Roach believes that he brings a different set of skills and experience to the table, and he's determined to go one step further than Frank Martin by dethroning the undefeated lightweight champion. There's a certain limit that you hit, right? But then there's that, that next criteria or that next top tier. And if you don't match that, you know, you, you never gonna know how great you really are. And I've done that a few amount of times already. I jumped out that box and done that. So I have yet to see Javante come out of that box yet. You know what I'm saying? They're about to put him with a guy at 130 pounds. Whether he's a champion or not, you're getting a guy lighter than you to come up and wait to make you look good again. Mm. I'm saying. Like One of the key distinctions Roach has emphasized is his experience compared to Frank Martin. While Martin fell short against Davis, Roach insists that his own background and skill set make him a far tougher opponent. Respectfully, I'm not Frank Martin, Roach stated in an interview with Cigar Talk. He pointed out that Martin only started boxing at age 15, a relatively late start in the sport, and lacked the depth of experience necessary to handle someone as seasoned as Gervonta Davis. In contrast, Roach feels that his long career in the sport gives him an edge that Martin simply didn't have. He didn't have the experience to be in there with someone as skilled and as experienced as Tank, Roach said of Martin. Roach, on the other hand, believes he matches Davis in almost every aspect of the game. I've got the same skill level as Tank. I've got the same experience as Tank. I've got the reflexes. I've got the ability. I've damn sure got the IQ. This confidence isn't just bravado. Roach's career shows a more extensive and tested track record compared to Martin. Roach, who fights at 130 pounds but will be moving up to 135 pounds for this bout, currently holds the WBA Super Featherweight title. He has also been in the ring with Tank twice before during sparring sessions, though he lost both times by decision. Those losses, however, haven't dampened Roach's belief in his ability to finally get the better of Davis as he continues to improve with each fight. Listen, D, man, I watched a few of your amateur fights, right? Um, I didn't know that um, you and Tank fought many years ago as well, man. And I saw that, man. It was a close fight, man. It was a, I was a, it was a J.O. 2011. Yeah. I was uh, battling back and forth, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, these boys look like pros as amateurs, man. Yeah. Stylistically, Frank Martin and Lamont Roach approach their fights differently and Roach believes this is where he has an advantage. Frank Martin is known for his speed and quick reflexes, and while he possesses some knockout power, his approach is often more about precision and movement. He's a skilled fighter, but against Davis, he was outgunned, as Tank's power overwhelmed him in the middle rounds, leading to an eighth round knockout. Gotta get back on the guns. Our main plan is had to keep him busy. Oh, there's a but Martin doing the veteran thing. Davis missing. Oh, you covered up well. Oh. He needs to be a little bit more. Oh, left up for John. Goes! Martin! Big trouble here. There's the uppercut, and there's the left. Roach, on the other hand, describes himself as a more versatile fighter. While he might not be known for his knockout power, with only 10 KOs in his 25 wins, Roach is a cerebral fighter with a high ring IQ. He relies on his boxing intelligence and ability to make adjustments mid-fight. His defense is sharp, and he's known for being durable. As evidenced by the fact that he's never been knocked down or seriously hurt in any of his professional fights, 
In a way, Roach's style is more about longevity and outsmarting his opponents rather than overpowering them. You do it. This is the blueprint. You know, you work your plan and you work and you plan your work. And he's been doing that. He's gotten better since the loss. Sure, he's gotten bigger. He's gotten stronger. You know, so hats off to him. They put themselves in the position for a payday. And that's what this is all about. It's called prize fighting. Yeah, yeah. In terms of defense, Roach feels confident that he can take Davis's power. What makes people think I'm going to end up like those guys who didn't have the experience and skill? Roach asked. I think I've got a nice chin. I got hit on my chin a couple of times. Ain't nobody never dropped me. Ain't nobody ever seen me hurt in a fight. While Roach acknowledges that Davis's power is different from anything he's faced, he remains confident that his chin can withstand the punishment. This resilience is something that Roach believes sets him apart from fighters like Martin, who was ultimately unable to withstand Davis's onslaught. The two have sparred twice before, and Davis came out on top both times, winning by decision in each session. Sparring sessions, of course, don't tell the whole story of a fight, but they do offer a glimpse into the dynamics between the two fighters. Davis, known for his knockout power, wasn't able to stop Roach in sparring, which gives Roach confidence that he can handle what Tank brings to the table. However, sparring is different from a full-fledged professional fight. Davis has grown even more powerful and skilled since those sparring sessions, becoming one of the most feared knockout artists in the sport. With 28 knockouts and 30 wins, Tank's power is no longer a question. It's a sure thing. Despite Roach's confidence in his ability to take a punch, there's no denying that Davis's power has been a deciding factor in almost every fight he's had. So while Roach might feel reassured by the fact that he's faced Davis before in sparring, the reality is that the stakes are much higher this time. This isn't just practice, it's a championship fight and Davis will be looking to end it in brutal fashion as he's done so many times before. So can you confirm with the night Lamont Roach would be the backup? No, Lamont Roach and Tank got a history together, an amateur history where they went back and forth as amateurs. You know what I'm saying? It's not a bad... There's something familiar about Roach's confidence heading into this fight. We've seen it before, most recently with Frank Martin. Like Roach, Martin believed he could be the one to hand Davis his first loss. He had the skills, the speed, and the athleticism to make it a competitive fight. And like Roach, Martin was confident that he could withstand Tank's power. But we all know how that ended. Martin fought bravely, but once Davis landed his power shots, the fight was over. Roach, however, insists that he's not Frank Martin. He believes he brings more experience and a higher ring IQ to the table, which will allow him to handle Davis's power better than Martin did. I've got the same experience as Tank, Roach said. I've got the reflexes, I've got the ability, I've damn sure got the IQ. But for many boxing fans, this feels like deja vu. We've heard similar words from previous opponents and none of them have been able to solve the puzzle that is Gervonta Davis. Don't deteriorate me. None, none of these people are outside with me training. None of these people are in the gym with me training. None of these people can do a fucking half the thing that I can do. None of these people can achieve half of the things that I don't achieve. I'm in the position where I am for a reason. So all that all that stuff is just outside noise. And sometimes, it, you know what I'm saying, it, I get... It's training camp, so sometimes I get bored. I'm going to respond every once in a while. So, yeah, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. For Gervonta Davis, this fight seems like another opportunity to showcase his dominance. With his perfect record, Davis has been steamrolling through his opponents, and many believe that Roach will be just another name on that list. Davis's ability to handpick his opponents due to his WBA privileges has drawn some criticism with fans accusing him of avoiding tougher competition in the lightweight division. Roach, who is moving up in weight for this fight, is seen by some as another easy opponent for Davis to secure another victory, but Roach refuses to see himself as just another stepping stone for Davis. He's determined to pull off the upset and prove that he's a legitimate threat in the lightweight division. Whether or not Roach can back up his words remains to be seen, but one thing is for sure, he's not lacking in confidence. What makes the fight even more interesting is the continued online rivalry. 
The online rivalry between Gervonta Tank Davis and Lamont Roach Jr. has escalated beyond their upcoming December fight, gaining momentum on social media as the two boxers continue to trade verbal jabs. What do you think of the announcement of the Gervonta Davis Roach fight? Uh, I think that, you know, it's had a lot of criticism, but it's not a bad fight. You know, Lamont Roach is a, a world champion. He's smaller than Javonta Davis. The problem is not many people are aware of, of who he is or, or his ability, but he can fight. I don't think it's a, a huge fight, but not a terrible. It all began about a week ago when Roach attempted to troll Tank on X, insinuating that Davis would need to spar with heavier opponents to be ready for their fight. Roach's attempt to get under Tank's skin didn't go as planned as Davis swiftly responded, stating that all his talking would be done in the ring. It was a sharp comeback, leaving Roach to stew over the response. That initial exchange highlighted the brewing tension between the two, as Roach's confidence seemed to echo the same bold claims made by Frank Martin before his own bout with Davis. Martin, who Gervonta dismantled in eight rounds, had also boasted about being ready for Davis, but the end result proved otherwise. Davis's response to Roach hinted at a similar fate for Washington DC-based boxer, suggesting that Roach's confidence might be misplaced. Oh, ah! oh that's the hook. For a week, things remained relatively quiet. However, Roach wasn't done with his attempts to ruffle Davis's feathers. This time, Roach decided to bring his rivalry with Tank into the world of the NFL, timing his comments ahead of the much-anticipated game between the Baltimore Ravens, Davis's home team, and the Washington Commanders, Roach's team. What started as some light-hearted sports banter turned into yet another intense exchange between the two boxers. The online spat reignited when Roach, proud of his Washington Commanders, responded to a Ravens fan who had taken a shot at both Roach and his hometown team. <laughs> the fan, clearly aligning with Davis in Baltimore, tweeted, We are whipping DC for the rest of the year. Ravens today, tank in December. The tweet implied that just as the Ravens would defeat the commanders, Tank Davis would dominate Roach in their fight. Roach, not one to back down, quickly replied, This shit different over here trying to defend both his team and his chances against Davis. But as expected, Tank saw an opening and pounced. With a quick, sharp retort, Davis tweeted back, Yay, you asking for it. Tank's response sent a clear message. The fight was already brewing, and Roach's taunts were only fueling the fire. The exchange left Roach at a loss for words, as his only reply was the confused emoji. Roach's troubles didn't end with the Twitter spat. That same weekend, his Washington commanders faced off against the Baltimore Ravens in an NFL Week 6 showdown. Just like in their Twitter battle, Roach came up short once again as the commanders lost 30-23 to the Ravens. Baltimore's offense, led by Lamar Jackson and Derrick Henry, dominated the game, leaving Washington struggling to keep up. The Ravens' victory marked their fourth straight win, making them one of the AFC's top contenders alongside the Kansas City Chiefs. Man, it's tough, but we, 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 we try to ignore the noise. He do, he do for the most part. He handled it very well, but we, we locked in, man. You know what I'm saying? Lamont just a um, classy guy, man. But, you know, he, he hit Rattlesnake too, man. People don't know he mean, man. So, you know, you come at him, you know, he going to bark back sometimes. And, and people don't be ready for when he come back. We seeing it. We seeing it. So. For Roach, the commander's loss was salt in the wound, as his attempts to link his personal rivalry with Davis to the NFL game had backfired. Not only was he on the losing side of the Twitter exchange, but his hometown team had also come up short on the football field. The loss seemed to underscore the challenge Roach faces in his December fight against Davis. Just as his team had been outmatched by the Ravens, Roach might be outclassed in the ring against Tank. Despite these online exchanges and Roach's recent missteps, the upcoming fight between Davis and Roach is gaining traction among boxing fans. When the fight was first announced, Many fans expressed disappointment, feeling that Roach wasn't on Tank's level. But with the recent social media drama and Roach's persistent attempts to challenge Davis, the fight has begun to generate more talk. The tension between the two fighters, both in and out of the ring, is drawing attention and creating a narrative that could lead to an exciting showdown in December. Fighting the best, fighting the best. In the case of Javante Tank Davis, where he's given Lamont Roach a great opportunity. Remember, he gave Hector Luis Garcia 
opportunity to come up and fight him. We haven't seen him since because that money good. Payday. We're talking payday. And Tank is now giving another brother. Another brother. He just gave Frank Martin an opportunity. He's giving another. Roach has been vocal about how he plans to give Davis a much tougher fight than Frank Martin did. He's emphasized that his experience, skill level, and boxing IQ are on par with Davis. In interviews, Roach has pointed out that unlike Martin, who only started boxing at age 15, he has a deep well of experience to draw from. Roach has also faced Davis twice before in amateur bouts, losing both times but going the distance. However, the parallels between Roach and Martin are hard to ignore. Just as Frank Martin was confident going into his fight against Davis, Roach is brimming with self-assurance, but the results of Davis's fight against Martin, where Tank's superior power and precision overwhelmed the Indiana-born fighter, serve as a warning sign for Roach. An attraction, you, know, you might, who you knows, maybe you might, you might get a call from Tank or something. You know, yeah, wish. Sure. Sure. Yeah, Tank's my guy too, man. I yeah. appreciate him shouting me out after the win. And you know what's crazy? After he beat Hector, I told him. Frank Martin, who had claimed he could match Davis's skills, was ultimately exposed by Tank's relentless style. Davis, known for his ability to break down opponents with devastating power, methodically dismantled Martin, knocking him out in the eighth round. Roach, like Martin, is a talented and skilled fighter, but it remains to be seen if his confidence is enough to withstand Tank's lethal combination of speed, power, and ring IQ. Roach's boast that he's not Frank Martin may be true, but he faces many of the same challenges that Martin did. Gervonta Davis has a well-documented history of success, with 28 knockouts in 30 professional fights. He's proven time and again that even highly skilled fighters can't handle his pressure and power. So, how do you think this plays out? Share your thoughts below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more updates.